She's Lettuce. And she's Ava. And, and we, we are the A Sisters. Today we are here with our mom. Hi. And what are we going to be doing today? We're going to start working on mm -hmm. our vegetable, vegetable and fruit, fruit garden. So for us, this is our first year doing this. Um, mom and dad have been plant-based for completely plant-based since January. So those of you following us know that. And I thought it would be really cool this year if we tried to do a vegetable garden. So we shall see. We do have some fruits that we're going to try to do as well. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So this is the avocado. This is going to show you guys how to start it. So, what you will need is, um, well, your option, you're going to need a cup and four toothpicks. And so we have taken the skin off of this uh, seed. Yes, it's a seed. Um, so, now you're just going to stick it around the avocado so once it uh once we're going to do is put it in the sunlight and once it starts to sprout then we will transport it into a uh, pot with soil We are now about to do sweet potato, onion, and carrot pops. So we're going to do the onion in two ways. So So Ava's going to show us how we're going to start our cilantro. So the first thing, she's already pulled a piece of cilantro out. She broke a piece off. And you're going to turn it the other way, Ava. And you're just going to stick it down in the water. So according to everything that I've read, this is supposed to help us start sprouting roots for more cilantro. Can make sure you hold me up for that. Then ball. you're not going to pour water over the top, just halfway up. So like right here. Right about there. there. And yeah. stop. Good job, Ava. We are now about to do the green pepper. I have cut it, as you can see. And I have the seeds right here in my hand. And you're supposed to get as much seeds as you can. So that's what I have. Okay? Okay, so we saw a couple of different ways to plant tomatoes and an uh, alternate way of doing the onion so you still have to cut the bottom of the onion off Ava pick the onion up for me carefully okay. yep and you're going to put the bottom of the onion into the soil put it all the way over in the corner for me turn it the other way turn it up and once it's in the soil then we're going to cover it with dirt again um now with the tomatoes Ava we're going to put Ava uh, so you can do the, we're trying the onion both ways. We're trying the onion to sprout it, and we're also trying it just in the dirt. So this is a temporary thing until we figure out what we're doing. So now we're going to take the tomatoes, Ava, and you're going to spread those one next to another. So now I'm going to try to start the seeds for the strawberries. So I've already picked the strawberry seeds out, but I'm going to just show you really quick how to pick the strawberry seeds out. Uh, there are a couple different methods. This one was a little more tedious, but it was the easiest one for me to try. 
So I don't know if you can see these little strawberry seeds are very tiny. I've already picked out 30 of them that I'm going to transport into my little container. But just to show you how I got them out, I used the toothpick and I literally just went in here and I just got underneath the each little seed, 30 seeds. and I just pulled them out. Uh so now we're gonna try the lemon. I don't know how this is gonna turn out because the lemon will not produce actual lemons on the tree until like three to five years. So this one is going to be a little bit of a long-term goal for us but i'm still going to give it a shot um it can make a, a flower of course it'll grow into a plant and then from the plant it'll grow into a tree and then eventually if the lemons are going to produce lemons again like i said it'll be a three to five year time frame is what i've read so So I've gotten 14 seeds out of this lemon, probably more in there. It was a nice juicy one. I hate to have wasted it. But what I've read is you're going to pick the outer shell of the seed off like this. Now I also read on another post that that was unnecessary to do that, but I've read on a couple of the um, tutorials on how to do this to pick them off. So I'm just going to take the time and pick the shells off. So they're I'm going to go ahead and do that now. You can pause it. I did peel them and I am going to go ahead and put half of the seeds in this container and then I'm going to also do a different mode. I'm trying to see which way will work best. Almost like a science experiment. I did lose one of my seeds. So let's see. That'll be two, four, five, six. Okay. So I'm going to put six of these. I don't even know if I'm supposed to put six seeds in here. I'm just I'm telling you, I'm winging this. I don't know. Uh oh. All right, so I got six seeds in this pot, this little container. I'm gonna put some more dirt over top of them. Put some more water on them. And the instructions that I found online is to cover them with saran wrap or plastic wrap. And the other option we can do is taking them and putting them in a wet paper towel. Folding them up. Placing them in a plastic bag. And then seeing, I'm just, like I said, almost a science experiment to see which one is going to germinate and start growing, sprouting first. Last fruit that we're going to do today, we are going to try our luck at growing a pineapple. Yes, you can grow a pineapple in your house. I did not remember, I didn't think to look to see how long it would take, but it will grow into a, like a tree or a plant and then it'll grow a new pineapple will come out the center. So what I didn't know is that all these years that I've been buying pineapples and eating them, I had no idea that you could just turn the top of it off which is what I read, so I don't know if you can do that or not. We're gonna find out. What? Yeah, I know. Oh my gosh. And there you have it. It came straight off. I've been cutting it off all these years. Yep, exactly. That's what I thought. So from here, I think what I saw, you're gonna cut this piece off and then you're gonna submerge this down into the water. And I think I have a glass that might work, it will work. And that's how we're gonna start it. We're gonna put water in the glass and then we're gonna sit this in the sun. You just twist it off. Just twisted it off. So if you have enjoyed these videos, um, again, please subscribe to our channel. We are going to be updating our progress with our sprouting. This has to sprout and then we'll put it in dirt. We're going to be updating our progress with all of our fruits and vegetables weekly. Um, so that way you can see what we got going on. We will probably do some other vegetables, but this is what we're starting with today. I'm thinking possibly squash and maybe even some string beans. 
um, trying to enlist my mom's assistance to help out because she has grown things. She was born in the country, so she's used to planting and farming, not farming, but you know, produce type stuff. So definitely going to try to get her in on the help. But yeah, so we're going to get this going. So you guys have a great day. Bye.